<laughs> we can't. It's hard to complain, but yeah. it is still a little bit chilly. We need those jackets and sweaters when we leave in the morning. Mm -hmm. Everybody at home, let's show you what we are feeling outside right now if we can. Most of us in the upper 40s to low 50s right now. Chandler coming in at 46. Mesa, you're at 48. Uh, 47 in Fountain Hills. 50 in Scottsdale as well as Deer Valley. 50 in Glendale as well. Peoria, good morning to you. And surprise, you're both waking up at 47 degrees this morning. Here's a quick look at those wind speeds right now. You can see also those winds very light. So here's a look at your money. Warm for us today. This is where we'll top out. 72 degrees is what you need to know to plan your Monday. Your UV index is at a three, moderate. That means that burn time is about 45 minutes or less. Air quality is moderate as well. We've got some fine particles and dust a little bit in the air. So if you're sensitive, keep that in mind too. No other weather alerts though here and no storm chances, although that's a bit of a different story as we go up north. We'll see some changes in a little bit. But in the meantime, here's a breakdown hour by hour of your Monday. And you can see still a cool start to the day by 11 a.m. AM. We're at 60 degrees, climbing into the 70s as we get into the afternoon there before we slowly come back down. We're down to upper 50s to low 60s by 9 o'clock, so cooler for sure. Now coming up, I'm going to show you what the rest of the valley is going to top out at and then explain those changes coming our way. Mallory. And Allison, I want to give you a look right now at US 60 from our CenturyLink Prism Traffic Center. Here in the valley, you're seeing no problems, but east of the valley, we have a closure on US 60 because of a crash here. So both directions shut down right now. This is all just west of Miami. We don't have any details of when it will reopen, but I'll keep a close eye, keep you updated on that situation on the 60. Let's give you a look from our ADOT camera. We have another crash on the 101. I gave you a couple minutes ago at one at Indian School. This one's at Northern, so as you're traveling southbound, you're going to see it off on the left-hand side, it looks like. Not a big traffic impact, but I'm also going to give you a look at I-17 coming up. Plus, are you getting ready for out-of-town guests? Well, coming up, we're taking action, breaking down the top. And you cannot beat our weather. That's just a fact. ABC 15's Katie Connor live at Sky Harbor with more. And Katie seems uh, kind of quiet out there now. Gave us a list of the top attractions. If you do. High pressure right now. That's what's bringing us these warm temperatures, and we are going to see cloud coverage up to the north. The good thing is we're not. We're going to be staying really dry. We're not going to be getting any rain chances here. We've got a slight rain chance going on uh, up there in Flagstaff actually in the next few days. But other than that, I think we are going to be pretty quiet and calm at least for today into tomorrow. What we are going to be watching out for is on Wednesday and Thursday. That's the beginning of some changes that we're going to see. Right now we're on record watch Wednesday and Thursday. But look what a difference this makes when we're flirting with records Wednesday and Thursday. We plummet below the record by Friday. As a matter of fact, uh, we're going to get close to average, but then we get about 10 degrees below average as we get on in through the days after that, which you'll see coming up a little bit later on in the newscast. But in the meantime, I want to show you our highs in the East Valley today. They're going to be mostly in the low 70s. You see Cave Creek and Carefree. We'll make it out of the 60s today. No crashes, just about a 16 minute desert drive time. This is for southbound drivers from the 101 till you hit the I 10 stack. And if you're headed the other direction up to the 101, I'm seeing all green up there as well. But I do want to give you a look at a crash on the 101 out in the West Valley from our ADOT camera. This is Loop 101 right at Indian School. It's northbound. It's completely off right, but it's still just kind of hanging out the exit ramp. But good news that one crash we had, the 101 at Northern, that has completely cleared and you're not seeing really any uh, congestion because of that. In just a couple of minutes, we'll give you a look at your drive on I 10 out in the West Valley. Everyone wants what people don't have, so, and they're really cute, too. It is 521. It is. Attractions just outside the valley of things to do for your out of town. Bragging rights this week and especially over the weekend, too. Let's get a live look at what's going on on ABC.
Ms. Mallory. And Allison, so far your commute's not doing too bad. I-10 is starting to slow down. Around this time, we always see just minor delay. So starting right around 83rd Avenue, you'll see some brake lights as you're traveling inbound this morning. By the time you hit 51st, things do ease up. And then Loop 101 uh, northbound, you are going to see a crash right at Indian School. It's completely off on the right. I'm not seeing any slowing there. But we also have a crash on US 60 east of the valley that has closed a portion of the 60. I'm going to map that out for you next. We've got an update now to some breaking news here this Monday morning. A man found in the roadway near Price and Elliott just off the... Continue uh, to thicken up through the day. It'll keep us partly cloudy to mostly clear, but don't expect to see those clouds go away completely today. Not clear skies for us. Pollen forecast in the medium category. We're looking out for ragweed and grasses today, and that's going to be true for at least the next couple of days. For your Monday forecast, topping out at 72 degrees today, your UV index is going to be at a three. Air quality is moderate, so if you're sensitive, we've got some dust and fine particles kind of going around here. But the good news is no other weather will be better. Uh, we're going to break down those temperatures hour by hour, like I mentioned more clouds, but still warm 65 degrees by 11 o'clock. And as we get into the afternoon, we're going to be topping out in the low 70s. Another above average day for us, but that's not where the temperatures are going to stop. No, the warmth is going to continue. I'm going to tell you how warm we're going to get still ahead. Mallory. All right, Allison, your delays on I-10 extending just a little bit, basically between 83rd and about 35th Avenue. But East Valley drivers, if you're hopping on US 60, no delays there. Just about a 14 minute desert drive time westbound from Val Vista to the 101 and ahead heads up. It sounds like this crash has now cleared the one that had closed down US 60. This is all east of the valley, just west of Miami, where we saw this. Both directions were shut down a couple of minutes ago. They reopened it, so you shouldn't find any extra congestion there. Our ABC 15 live drive is out and about tracking your morning drive on I-10. This is right at 16th Street, so just as you're approaching the mini stack, not seeing delays on this portion of the 10, but I'm going to give you a closer look at your drive on I-17 coming up. All right, Mallory, 20 minutes to the top of the six o'clock hour. Some breaking news. Another attack on law enforcement. I just received but here is something to chill you to the bone. A ton of snow. We want to get to this first clip right here. This one's coming out of Massachusetts. We're talking snow, freezing rain, regular rain, all making for a very messy commute. And there are storm warnings now all across the state there. Let's come over here. Crews attempting to keep the roads clear in Albany, New York. Snow began falling yesterday afternoon. Still falling there now, and it's going to continue, and it'll turn into freezing rain later on this afternoon. All right, different city, but same story. Check out the first major snowfall in Toledo, Ohio. Residents not going to have to deal with the fresh snow this morning, but their temperature highs are going to be near freezing. Burr, Dan. Wow, so foreign to us here in the beautiful desert southwest. Thanks, Allison. Uh, yeah, breaking overnight. Two central Georgia police officers were shot. We learned this is during a drug raid. Both officers are expected to recover. That is the update we have. Hopping on I-17 this morning, still crystal clear. I'm not seeing any issues, any crashes there. As far as I-10 goes, though, we're seeing about an 18-minute desert drive time, so we just jumped up to that. Uh, basically, that takes you from 75th Avenue to the mini stack, but those delays are about 83rd Avenue, just past the 17. And a heads up, there's a crash just south of the 10th, 67th Avenue at Van Buren. It sounds like a serious crash. We don't have too many details yet, but we do have a crew headed to the scene, so we'll definitely keep you updated on how that's going to impact your morning drive. Taking a look at Loop 101, they just cleared the this crashed just a couple of moments ago. This was it's been sticking around most of the morning. Loop 101 right at Indian School northbound side, but you're not seeing any delays because of that crash in the area. Now, some of you may be planning to hit the roads for the holidays, so we are taking action, keeping an eye on those gas prices. Click switch. For details,